Eric, who are lead users? To this point, we've talked about the importance of user innovation. Of the millions, tens of millions of users' innovations, which ones are the best complements for producers? Here we have the issue of lead users. What we've said is, well, any kind of marketplace trend diffuses. First a few people want something, then more want it, a market builds, and eventually that market fades off as something new replaces it. So what you'd really like if you were a producer is to understand who is at the leading edge of an important trend. I coined the term lead user to say really they are ahead of an important market trend. They stand to benefit a great deal or enough to innovate from the unfilled needs they see there. So what you have is a situation where if I'm a manufacturer, I want things that will become general. Where should I look for those kinds of innovations? I don't want to go through 10 million. So the term lead user says, yes, there are some people who need something more intensely than the bulk of the market. Here's an illustration. If you are trying to do digital special effects on your home camera, probably a user like Pixar would have an even more intense need. And so if I'm a producer of cameras that have special effects built in, I would say for certain kinds of special effects, I should really look to Pixar. They can afford more than the ordinary hacker DIY. They have leading edge needs to make their films really novel. Let's look over there and see what they've developed. Rather than equally paying attention to Uncle Joe, who just last week got his first iPhone and is starting to take videos. So we say we want the users who stand to benefit a lot and are at the leading edge of a trend. The next question is, how do we find them? And in my field, we've developed two methods for finding them. The first is called pyramiding. Let's go back to an example about the question of how do you deal with surgical infections. So you pyramid, that means you find people by asking others, you network to find the person with the most extreme need. So you as a company start out by saying, you know what, antibiotics are failing, surgical infections are becoming more important, General surgeons are only slightly affected at this point. 2% of their patients get infections. Who has a worse problem? Who's at the leading edge? And you cycle your way through and you find, for instance, oncologists. Surgical oncologists who are operating repeatedly on patients who are immune compromised. And so they're more likely to get infections. They've had chemotherapy or whatever it is and they face 20% infection rates. So the question is, have they done anything? And when you do a study like this, you find that yes, they have. They have responded to their need. Companies don't care yet because these are small leading edge markets. So they have done it for themselves and have developed new methodologies. Because for them, there are no available solutions but the need is intense, and therefore the necessity to innovate is there. Yeah, and so you say to yourself, I'm gonna find those people that need it a lot today. Now, more recently, we've been using an AI technique, just scanning the entire web for people who say things like, I had a problem and I solved it, and then other people, when we look at the query frequency, come along and say, whoa, I like that too. So there, we're not predicting in advance what a market trend is. We're saying whatever the heck it is that you came up with, are other people interested? So for example, we did a study of kite surfing. In kite surfing, you go in there and you say, what are people doing in these specialized communities? 
searching for terms like, wow, I came up with this new thing or something like that. I solved a problem. I had a problem. And then we find things like drone surfing. The companies are focused on kite surfing, having a kite, you know, a board, you're zipping along with the wind, you're doing all this great stuff. Some users are saying, to heck with that. I don't want to care about the wind. And drones are getting better. I'm building myself a drone surfing thing instead of a kite. They are evolving a new sport. That's the leading edge. You didn't have to predict it. You just searched for all the user innovations, and then you said which ones are getting picked up on. Those are the ones that likely have legs. So number one, you want to search for the lead users. And number two, there are different ways to do it. It's a way of integrating the producer innovation and the user innovation systems as complements. So lead users are a special class of user innovators, harbingers of important market trends. Mm -hmm. They're on the leading edge of those trends. And the good news, there are ways to find them. Yeah. Pyramiding and using machine learning. Yes. Now that we understand user innovation and its importance, we're into the tool building phase. How do we actually make this work in the world?